Hey y'all, this is Venture Cat and we talk about personal finance, life ventures and travel. So today I want to talk about like the job hunt. It is so so real like it was a tough time. Like when I think about this time last year, things were dark, you know? It was it was dark. So I just want to go into that to give you some tips and advice on what I think that you can do to improve on your job hunting skills and what happens when you get to that actual interview. Um, so stay tuned, but first I need to get something. So first find out what you want, like what type of job you want, which career, which area because like you study your degree and usually you can do a lot of different things you need to figure out what you want um, where you want your career to go and find jobs that align with that and also think about the size of the company you want to work in like um, do you want to work in a very big company do you want to work in a smaller company where you can probably progress faster than if you were with like in a big grad group or whatever like just take those things into consideration ask your friends who are already working what where they're working how are they finding it do that type of research in order to like better prepare yourself and understand what you want out of the end of this process that's like the prerequisite now you have an idea of what job you want the first thing you need to do is tailor your CVs for that particular job. So for a particular job or for a particular type of job, make sure that your CV shows your strengths that align with that job that you're looking for. Don't just have a random CV with everything that you've ever accomplished where they don't really make sense for that thing. If you have two different types of jobs that you wanna apply for, make two different types of CVs so that it's more aligned with whatever that job is you know so wherever you write your previous work experience if you don't have previous work experience maybe previous volunteer experience um you need to write like the title your position and then have a small explanation of what you did and if possible have write down how you improved a particular work process it puts in more effort and it shows the person going through your cv that okay this is what so and so did when they were in this particular job and then also going with that you need to tailor your cover letters for each specific job um if they require a cover letter not everyone will, will require a cover letter but wherever they do make sure that you don't just give them a generic one size fits all cover letter because like it, you can tell that this cover letter was not written for me it's just an overall thing and it won't it probably won't get you where you want to go so make sure that you tailor your cover letters so how i did it i had like three main paragraphs so the first paragraph would be about me my background and yeah, so let's talk about where I studied, what I did at Varsity and all of that, just a brief overview. The second paragraph would be showing examples of the skills and training that are useful for that, that job that I'm applying for. Whatever the skill is, have an anecdote of like what you did. And then the third paragraph is about why I want this particular job at that particular company. So you, to, you there you put in your research and you show because I am say so very adventurous a job at a travel boutique could be great for me because of one two three and I know that your company does this type of outreach and whatever whatever the research is you put it in there you show how you fit in as well and why you want that particular company for that particular job. So now you've sent your CV and your cover letters and you've gotten a few responses there's a few companies that want you to take an assessment before they continue to the interview process when it comes to these assessments they usually tell you 
you don't need to prepare for it um it's just to check your where you where you're at like you know your mental capabilities what type of person you are all of those things <sighs> to an extent yes you don't need to prepare for it but at the same time there are types of, like sometimes there's like arithmetic questions and things like that that you're a bit rusty on like so it would be beneficial for you to actually put in some work ask what that assessment is going to be about so sometimes it is just like psychometric assessments we you can't you you really don't can't prepare for that but there are parts of that psychometric um, assessments where they have like different pictures and with shapes inside them those things were the worst for me like I didn't know how you how one thing like they'll give you maybe four different pictures with shapes in between and then they ask you what's going to be the, the fifth picture and I'm just like I don't know <laughs> what do you mean so when it comes to things like that you can find practice assessments online and they help you like they boost your confidence you figure out how to look for these patterns and it just makes a big difference when you actually go to the assessment because when you see those things you're not seeing them for the first time you're like okay i've seen something like this you have a bit of a confidence boost you're not wasting too much time on each section you're able to spread out your time better so definitely prepare for those assessments and then there's also different types of assessment that could be based on you know an area of expertise maybe based on what you studied before also ask what can i expect in this test usually they'll tell you if you do need if you do need to prepare for it they will tell you you need to prepare this is what you should prepare um look up whatever actually like put in the work especially if they tell you you need to prepare prepare <laughs> like do your research try to find a couple of questions and yeah just prepare for those things because it is a confidence boost then if you know anyone who has that job who maybe does a grad program and someone was doing this application the year before ask them Ask them what you can expect, if they have any tips, um, usually people will be very happy to help, um, so just ask, you will get great advice. I basically, I am, I'm so thankful <laughs> to um, someone who works at my company and like she literally was helping me for a lot of things. Now you're done you've done the assessments you've done the in um you've sent your cvs and cover letters people will reject you i just want to let you know this in advance and if you're watching this maybe you have already been applying and you've already got rejections don't let it discourage you just keep applying and use every single step of the application process as a learning curve and try to see where you can improve when you apply for the next job because you won't get every single job <laughs> sometimes you only get just the one um it's a long process but just don't give up that's that's the main thing don't give up don't be disheartened keep on applying and keep on improving your cvs and your cover letters and keep on preparing for assessments so that you put yourself in a better position to actually go through to the next round and possibly get the job cool so next is the actual interview with the interview the first tip and this is like very 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 important is to prepare for the tell me about yourself they will be the first question that you get you need to have an answer for that Pract write it down practice it in the mirror and just know what you're going to say so with the tell me about yourself you would probably need to have what's your background by this i mean what is your like academic background you were studying what were you doing like just the year before um what were you studying maybe why you chose to study that and then tie that into how that is relevant for this job speak about the certain skills that you have what you like how you are how you work with others things like that just any good quite qualities that would be helpful in 
you getting this job so yeah have like a career background know what you want to say what you want to bring across and then also just know what you'd say if they were like okay thank you for that but also tell me about yourself like your personality you have an answer for that as well i had like a whole tell me about yourself prepared and then they asked me so like what's your personality like what what do you like you know and i was so thrown aback i was like <laughs> i didn't know like I, I yeah it's a very difficult question so prepare that answer as well and then the next and i think this is my final tip just prepare for for, for the interview itself you know you apply for a particular um, job just google say it's consulting so typical consulting interview questions or typical um articles interview questions i don't know just search for the typical questions for that field and try and have a answer for most of the common questions also just try to have scenarios that you can think of that show maybe your leadership skills or your analytical skills or whatever type of skills that you say that you have so that when it might not come up they might not ask you for give me a scenario when you do this 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 but sometimes they do ask those questions and if you have like scenarios in the back of your head you can sort of tailor it so that it answers that particular question that they're asking i have them written down i even had a google drive of like interview questions and my answer for different questions it really helps because when you get there you're more confident you know what you're going to say and you don't stutter the whole time you're not busy going um 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 because ums are very distracting <laughs> even to yourself and then the last tip this is a very cosmetic one for interviews but when you go there just go there wearing something nice like if you can buy an interview outfit just one um, something that's very nice that you feel good in and then you can wear that to all your different interviews because you're not necessarily interviewing at one place the whole time and even if you go interview at the same place it will be with different people you can literally just have one outfit um, look for it in your wardrobe maybe buy an item if you need to but like just have something where you look good because you look good you feel good you feel good and you're prepared you're gonna do so amazing so those are my tips on like the job hunting process basically the overarching me message of this video is that you need to prepare oh and then lastly sometimes you might not get the job that you want even if you don't get that job that you want immediately it's not a trade smash and it's not the end of the world just keep on working towards what you want applying for the things that you want and like i said each step of the application process should be a learning experience a learning curve every rejection just work on it there's this one company actually that i applied for and i went for case interviews and stuff and they told me um no we really liked you your profile's really good but fortunately we're not gonna take you to the next round whatever but they actually told me what to work on and i appreciated that so so much because people don't usually tell you <laughs> and it's like I don't know, I'm getting professional. but like people don't usually tell you what you did wrong and for me that was nice because i could work on those particular things so if you can do ask like ask them like where can i improve or whatever because it will help you in the next step Sometimes you know where you can improve because you leave the interview and you're just like, <laughs> yeah, you like you leave knowing that ish. Um, so it is like a tumultuous process. It's long and it's draining and you're going to stop believing in yourself at some point, but don't let that stop you from continuing. Some people get it like that. <laughs> they get the job that they want immediately they get it like when they're still studying some people like when i was in my honors year i was still just like worried about just the schoolwork and in may or march people had like job offers and it does it gets a lot and it goes to your head sometimes but 
it's okay we each are going on our own journey we're gonna reach our destinations at different times and don't compare yourself basically just try to be the best you that you can be be as prepared as you can be and just flourish all the best if you are in this position and you're going to be applying for jobs or busy applying for jobs and going to interviews and all of that just believe in yourself be confident and the best way you can be confident is to be prepared speak to the mirror record voice notes listen to yourself just do everything that you can do that to prepare and yeah you're gonna make it you are definitely going to make it cheers